This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 4 hours, 53 minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The ground rules that were laid out before we went into this launch attempt today were that we would have to have four sensors as mandatory for launch, whereas customarily our rules would be we could fly with one sensor fail. And we have had liquid hydrogen sensor number three fail. So we are going to be doing some troubleshooting over the next half hour as we continue to fill liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. At that point, we would stop, assess whether we want to do any further testing at that point, and then initiate a drain of liquid oxygen while liquid hydrogen stays in the uh, stop-fill configuration. The mission management team will be convening shortly on a common channel here in the firing room to talk about what our official status is going to be. While we have not officially declared a scrub, our launch commit criteria would not allow us to continue in this configuration with one sensor failed. Again, the hydrogen sensors, uh, as in the first launch attempt, have worked fine. I'm sorry, not uh, quite sure what I said there. The oxygen, liquid oxygen sensors are, are functioning normally as uh, our first launch attempt. Hydrogen sensors, while we had two fail at the same time, the first time we've only had one fail so far, which is another interesting data point. Manager Wayne Hale and the chairman of the mission management team, Leroy Kane, are having an across the console huddle to talk about the strategy at this point. However, a lot of this uh, has already been predetermined, knowing that if uh, we came up and drew the short straw today, what we were going to do.